What is up you guys? So this is going to be a tutorial on how to create your own LUT and use it in your videos. What we're going to do is you're going to need to click the link in my description and it'll take you to this website where you're going to have to download LUT generator. So just click download and then it'll take you to this page and you can download it here. I already have it downloaded right here so I'm just going to open this up and then click on LUT generator Mac or if you if you have Windows you can do that but I'm just going to go for my Mac and then double click this and then it's going to open this LUT generator and you can double click that and it's going to ask you if you want to open it just click open and then this pops up. So now what we can do is we're gonna go to Lightroom and then and then now here you can mess around with all the tools and you can create your uh, style look that you want for your videos. I'm just gonna use this. What you want to do is you want to press copy and just copy it and then you're gonna go to that LUT generator and then click generate a hauled. And then it's going to ask you where you want to put it, so I'm just going to put it to my desktop. And now you're going to have to import it, and it's going to look like this neutral thing. Um, yeah, it's going to look like that. Um, but I already have it imported already um, from, you know, because I made LUTs before. So I'm just going to get that, but you're going to have to import it, and then this is what it's going to look like. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just paste it. Um, so now it has the filter that you used in your other one. So now we're going to export it, and I'm just going to go to my desk desktop. And then where it says file naming, you can click on rename too, and then you can name the LUT whatever you want. Um, I don't know, I just make up random names. I'm just going to write maroon LUT, okay. And then I just set the quality to 80 and click export and now now as you can see it made this new this maroon LUT dot jpg so we're gonna click convert to cube and then it's gonna ask you what you want to convert so then just click on whatever you named it to and then it says done operation completed successfully so now we have this maroon light cube so I'm gonna copy that by clicking Command C, and then uh, if you want to go to After Effects, you can do that here. But I'm just going to go to Premiere. We're going to right click that, press Show Package Contents, and then double click that, and then click Lumetri, LUTs, Creative, and then Command V to paste it. And it'll be inside Premiere now. So let's open Premiere. I'm just going to name this Color Correct, and then we can drag a footage here. So. I'm just going to use this clip to show you the example, and then I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer, click Lumetri, color, put it on the adjustment layer by double clicking, and then as you can see I have a whole bunch of LUTs over here, but we can find maroon LUT and it's right here, and then now that, that color that we made in Lightroom is now on our footage in Premiere, which I think is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's how you create a LUT. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And and so yeah, this is how you can have your own style of filmmaking. A lot of people use LUTs from the internet where a lot of people have the same one. Like like the John Olsen LUT that I showed you guys in my first tutorial. But yeah, this is how you can create your own. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.